Coming up next, it's a featherweight matchup between Conor McGregor and Max Holloway. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this featherweight tilt. McGregor is three years his senior. Holloway is two inches taller. McGregor will have a five-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds of the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record on. 20 wins, three losses. He stands five feet and inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Lionel Hawaii, Max Blast Holloway. And now introducing the opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, four losses. Here we go. Switching stances here. Back to the left hand now. Unable to connect. That's a nice clean shot. Oh, McGregor's strike attempt there is blocked. He's doing a very nice job protecting his head here. Slips the punch. Both guys have proved to be dangerous in the opening seconds of this fight. Using his jab effectively here, it's an underutilized weapon by a lot of fighters, not this guy. Caught him with a punch. That one hurt. Watch the shot. And there's a nice jab by Holloway. Landing a good series of strikes here. And there's a nice kick. Lands a glancing right hand up there. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Hit him hard with that hook. Huge hook there, Joe. Oh! The jab followed by the right hand. Just misses with the jab there. Oh, man. Defensively leaving a lot to be desired there. He moved right into that hook. His head was wide open and there for the taking. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here moving forward. Both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, how about that? He lands a huge kick. Hard left hand. Nice leg kick. Finds a home for that left hook. Oh, again with another hook. Now a right hand. Oh, he blocked that offense, Joe. Doing a very good job of parrying and blocking all the shots that are coming towards his head. McGregor gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Holloway's shot is blocked. Connor with a nasty kick to the body. Nice lead hook by McGregor. Good combination there by Holloway. McGregor gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Oh, how good Whoa! is that, Chad? He's got him hurt here. Nasty combinations here. And now starting to snap off that jab. That's a big hook. Whiffs on the straight right hand. One, two. Doing an excellent job blocking. And he connects there. He's keeping his head protected here. Excellent blocking. Oh! oh huge oh, right hand! And now he's passing the half guard. Huge elbow there, Joe. What an end to round one. No, 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 no. All right, so there's the horn. The round is over, but not after serious damage was done. Great round there from Holloway. Yeah, that knockdown should have won him the round. It was a big moment in the fight. Let's see that from another angle. Brittany Palmer in the building as usual. Second round underway. He's definitely going to want to start this round off fast. 
try to pick up where he left off. His opponent was in big trouble at the end of that round. Holloway is a very composed young man. I like the way he strikes. He's very technical. He also is, is great at using feints and changes his angles and his movement. You see him go to the right, then he'll go to the left. He's not predictable. He's a much more seasoned fighter than his age would indicate. Well, he has been nothing if not masterful on the feet this evening, and a lot of his effectiveness has been because of that jab. He established it early, and that helped to set up some oh, man. Tagged him. He's hurt. He's hurt. Bad. He's got him hurt here. Whoa! Oh. Oh. Big punches here. Big, Big body shot. shot. Steps into half guard. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Well, the offense has been there. He is landing some good shots, but not really stringing them together and putting combinations on his opponent. He's got to mix up his strikes, change his tempo a little bit, and try to get his opponent out of there by landing more than just oh. one strike at a time. This could be it right here. Oh. Try to establish that jab. Man. Oh! He's got him right here. Back to the jab now. No good. This could be it. Oh, he might be out. Nice leg kick. And he's looking for that left. Oh, man, that cut not in a good place, and it's not getting any better. And he is staying committed to that jab. Showing the punch. Attempts a big hook to the head, but misses. Under a minute to go here in our second round. He got tagged there. McGregor circling to his right now. Connor's looking, looking for that left hand over the top. Oh, he found the target there, Joe. Nice punch. Trademark inside leg kick there by Holloway. Wow, so just when his opponent maybe was trying to turn the page to the next round, he gets caught with that huge shot, goes down, and the referee wisely jumps in to stop the fight. So that'll do it. Beautiful technique there on the fight ending blow, and maybe he caught his opponent off guard a little bit, Joe. Let's look at it from a different angle. And let's see that again. Bang. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergley out has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 47 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Max Bless. All right, so another successful title defense for the Waianae Hawaii native Max Blessed Holloway. And this guy might not have even hit his fighting prime, yet he is clearly the class of the 145s at present. A dominant effort here tonight. He was tested a little bit early, but Holloway just too good yet again. And it is going to take a major effort out of one of these fellow featherweight contender types to dethrone Max Holloway. Get